guys, welcome back to another video. In the last video, we talked a little bit about tripods and why they are essential for uh, any filmmaker or photographer's toolkit. And that intro that you saw highlights a lot of the points we made. So you saw some visual effects at the end there, and that was only possible uh, by means of the tripod. The second thing, uh, something that we mentioned last week as well, is the tripod allows you to be in front of and behind the camera at the same time. I was also able to keyframe some movement in some of the shots to kind of add to the vibe I was going for. So without the tripod, that sequence would have been impossible. Anyway, today uh, we're continuing on the topic of tripods. You'll remember I said in the last video that we would share uh, three tips that help to highlight how versatile a tripod really is. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get into it. Tip number one is that you can set the tripod up on uneven surfaces and still get a level shot. Normally, this tip would be useful when you're shooting outdoors because in a lot of places, the ground isn't perfectly level. So if I wanted to set up my tripod and these objects were in the way and I couldn't move them, I could simply adjust the height of each leg individually, set the tripod up, get a stable level shot that I can use in my videos. Tip number two, we're going to call hybrid camera gear. If you want the functionality of another piece of equipment, but the stability of a tripod, you can combine the two to get a hybrid piece of gear. In this example, I've combined my gimbal with my tripod. So this setup would be useful for uh, maybe if I wanted to shoot time lapse or if I wanted to get a smooth panoramic landscape shot or something like that. It doesn't have to be a gimbal. You can use whatever other piece of gear you want and get the best features of both pieces of gear. So for tip number three, you can actually, in a pinch, get some movement out of your tripod. For example, with the tripod, if if you look at the legs where they end up on the ground, they kind of form a triangle. So if you set the tripod up where the base of that triangle or where two of those legs are parallel, pointed toward your subject, then you can use the handle and tilt it forward and get a kind of a push-in hero type shot. And that's great for product photography or to zone in on whatever your subject is. Of course, if you have other tools, uh, like a gimbal or a slider, that would be better. But if a tripod is all you have, then this can help you out. So those are just three quick tips to show you how versatile that one piece of gear actually is. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you got something from it, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss another video. And also, leave a comment of any other tips or, or tricks you have for using tripods uh, in creative ways so that we can all learn from each other. So that's it for me, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.